Welcome to In The Geek Room and welcome to part 14 of the Infinity Watch. And today we're looking at 2016's Doctor Strange. Okay, I'm actually going to look at this for a while and look at the notes I have made. I made, okay, I watched a film a few days ago, made some notes. But I think I've got to point out first. I, I've had this on Blu-ray since it came out. I always buy these on the day of release. Usually when I see these films at the cinema, me and my fiance go, day of release the Sunday afterwards. We went on day of release. I couldn't face seeing it again a second time. I really did not like this film. Turned out, when I came to... Uh, I've been watching for the Infinity Watch. I've been watching on Blu-ray. You know, you get to see some of the extras and the deleted and everything afterwards. Turns out it's still in its original packaging. That's how much I did not really enjoy this film. I think the film must have came out about February last year. No, about March it was. I'm assuming it was March. It was about March, if I'm right. I haven't checked the details. Uh, do some research. A UK release, probably about two weeks after the American. And uh, so it comes to it, it's still in the original packaging, I had to open the cellophane, so I made some notes when I was watching it. Yeah, I actually had to take a little five minute nap, so I had to rewind it as well. So yeah, made my fiance happy. Okay, I've got four pages of notes on here. One, two, three, four, you yeah, know, I, I didn't like this film. It's not that it's not a bad film, it's just it was bland and boring, you know. Great cast, I mean, I love Chiwetel Lejeune for in I mean, He's brilliant. I thought I've followed him since he did Kinky Boots. I think he's brilliant in Kinky Boots. If you haven't seen it, go see the film. Fantastic. Not really the sort of science fiction, Marvel fantasy film. But Chiwetel Age of Four is great in him. He was great in Inside Man. He was great in 12 Years of Slave. Chiwetel Age of Four is just fantastic. It was never much of a. Uh, I never really watched uh, Sherlock Holmes, so I really can't say much about Benedict Cumberbatch. He was great in Imitation Games, which I watched a few weeks ago. Mads Mikkelsen. Great Rogue One and Le Chiffre in uh, Casino Royale, absolutely fantastic, uh, you know. But uh, I'm now going on about films I actually preferred more than Doctor Strange. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to do it. Time Traveler's Wife and uh, About Time, Rachel McAdams, uh, Benedict Wong, great in uh, uh, The IT Crowd in The Martian. Uh, and he looked great, and so did Doctor Stephen Strange, but did it come back in the Infinity War trailer? So, I mean, they're great in that, you know, I mean, Doctor Strange should have been a great film. I mean, I just found it boring. I did, I mean, you know, uh, it sets up a lot of stuff in second watching. You know, it, it sets up stuff about the mentions of time travel, the multiverse. So you're talking about setting up uh, Infinity War. And this is what this film is. It's setting up Infinity War, you know. Uh, you know, you've got the little post credits with Thor. Uh, which is just taking a scene from Ragnarok. I mean, that was good. I was like, yay, best part of the film. But uh, I just, it's not, I mean, it's not a bad film. It's just bland. That's that's the problem. I can't really say I hate the film because I didn't hate it. I didn't even really dislike it. I just thought it was bland compared to some of the other films that have came. And, you know, uh, you know, the fact that I've actually, you know, gone on about the whole love of films that these actors have been in. I mean, when I started writing these notes, the names weren't that memorable. I actually wrote uh, one of the first ones, Le Chiffre. I couldn't remember Matt Nicholson's names. You know, uh, I was put off from the bit. I mean, admittedly, it helps the character because it, it, it goes to show you the way he was when they got, when he's on the phone before he has his car crash about, uh, you know, which, what, who he's going to operate on, thinking about operating on. And you're going about a uh, guy who had a, a spinal injury and you're thinking, wow, he's just referenced the, the, the Falcon. And wait a minute, he... he he brushes off the Falcon, who's had this injury. He didn't want to uh, work on, operate on him. And I was like, you know, okay. That kind of put me off of the character a bit. But it aids to go that he was a cocky guy. And he has, you know, his story arc, you know. Uh, but, you know, the story arc was just, you know, you know, a guy who was self-obsessed and everything. Then turns good in the end and everything. Then you had all the hassle with the whitewashing of the ancient one which was around the time of release and you know uh, I just it was the villains weren't that good the ending you know it was satisfying but it was not like wow I really want to see a Doctor Strange 2 I mean don't get me wrong the character's good it's just you know when you realize that he's actually you know the redemption of Doctor Stephen Strange you know that's good, but the, the film was just bland and boring, and I'm hoping in Infinity War that there's going to 
generate an interest interest in the character and he's going to actually stand out and be the character he should be and show what the character can do so that we actually do get a Doctor Strange 2 because it would be a shame if it just leaves it at 1. I mean, it'd be like going from saying, you know what, Dark World didn't work. We're just going to leave Thor where he is, you know, and just not invest in trying to make a good Thor film. And they made an absolutely incredible one with Ragnarok. I just hope Marvel don't shortchange the character. I mean, you know, it didn't work, but there is still something there in the character. And I do like, like I said, I like Benedict Wong as Wong as well. And I think Benedict Wong is absolutely brilliant. And, you know, him and Benedict come back, great team. And Chiwetel Eiji for bring Chiwetel for a Doctor Strange 2. You know, it would be, it'd be great. Like I said, I love these actors. And Rachel McAdams, brilliant as well. So... There is something there for the character, but it just wasn't there. It was, a, like I said, and I keep repeating myself, bland film. Not bad, not good, just not memorable. Which is a shame because, like I said, the characters are there. And I'm repeating myself now because, you know, I did not, I don't ever want to dislike an MCU film because I always like to try and find redemption in them. And the redemption is there in the characters. The characters could be there. Just handle them better. Give it to a good director, you'll have a decent, uh, or a director that might actually have something about the source material that can make a fun film, like was done with Thor Ragnarok, regenerate a character in there. But like I said, I'm hoping Infinity War goes somewhere to have to show what Doctor Strange is capable of so that we can actually have, you know, a trilogy like all the other good ones. But that's, a, that's really all I can have to say about this film, and I will give it a watch again eventually. So I've got to go through some of the other material that's on the Blu-ray. Coming up next, one of my personal favourites, part 15, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. See you then.